Hi there, Signs of Scorpio. This is Kim here to do your reading. This is the next 48 hour reading. Let's get into it. So I provide a channel for your spirit team to contact my spirit team and we relay the messages. Sometimes they come from the cards, sometimes it's intuitive. Um, all the time it's channeled information for you. This is Osho Zen Tarot. I have blacked out the words on it though because um, I want to stick to what my intuition says about the cards instead. So that's why that is like that, if you're wondering. You can get it from Amazon if you're interested in it. Okay. That's probably pretty good. Um, what's the main first message for Scorpios? What's your... Um, you know what? Let's not do that. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Let's do, um, let's do this spread of where we see how you can beat the odds. Okay, so what are the issues about Scorpio beating the odds? News traveling to you and getting past what you consider a stalemate or a block. It does have to be postponed. I don't know why, but it feels like since it's paired up with this Eight of Wands that it's a good, peaceful resolution but there really might be, there might have been some, you know, seeing through the clouds needed. So, I don't know if this Eight of Wands is like your communication. Opening up better communication will help you beat the odds. And the ability to make wise decisions. Because you're never really stuck. All right, what other issues with beating the odds? Yeah, you're still in the midst of a major transformation, metamorphosis, um, something big, something really big. What else? Okay, I have the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Moon in reverse. And I have the Wheel of Fortune, so the fate, luck, a new cycle, that's going to help you beat the odds. Staying persistent with a transformation that's bringing in really good changes for you feels like that also is going to help you. What you're already doing, the work you're already putting in this. There may be something revealed to you regarding um, a situation that you just didn't know much about. And it might have been something being revealed to you of how better to receive love or take care of yourself. Transforming, maybe even, you know, mind, body, spirit, however you're transforming, however you're seeing yourself do that. While wow, you're becoming master. There's a slight delay here. It has to do with, okay, with with regarding your manifestations, it feels like there's a slight delay because this, the master card here, is you being in your true power and moving past whatever this decision is. So it's some kind of decision that you have to make. It is taking really good care of yourself, um, not expecting... You know, really not it, leaving the expectations so that you can be happy to find what you didn't expect. And I think I said that. <laughs> yes, like in the last reading or something. Um, the Eight of Swords energy is usually when thoughts might be entering your mind. And they look like thoughts that tear at you, meaning that if it is a thought that doesn't sit well with you, then it's probably not from you. It's probably not something that you need to concentrate on. Sometimes we take on restrictions and boundaries and things like that, but it's based on like others and their opinions. But this is about you freeing your mind and lifting restrictions or boundaries. With no judgment, you're seeing past the illusion Figuring out how to take 
up the transformation to your mastery of yourself. The Wheel of Fortune is granting you luck. This cycle too. Noticeable luck. Expected luck. Okay. And advice from your spirit guides on what you could do to bring in beating the odds. Okay. Stand up and fight for what you want. For what you believe in. Know that something is coming through for you here with this um, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. It's just fighting for... I don't know, maybe um, it may be regarding having to wait on this news of a delay. The Eight of Cups, I don't know, but I have a feeling here that this is about um, detachment, like letting go. Like I'm getting the message that this master is like right up here and you're the master and you're about to let go and when you fall... You detach from everything else around you, opinions, labels, things like that, illusions. You detach from that, like that. Uh, emotionally, you detach and you get close to yourself. If we're all going to detach from different things. It's still the same. Um, detachment is detachment. This could be about um, going on a vacation, too, though, or getting away. Wow, seriously, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Whew. Helping each other out so that everybody is wildly, hugely successful. Wow. Wow, yeah, breaking free of the things you think that you're attached to because working together and all jumping on board with this luck here that's coming in is going to do us a world of good. It's going to bring in stability, generational wealth, where it's like either a business could be passed on or wealth. It just either, you know, because it's all wealth. It's just how you define it. Okay. This is... Scorpio, this is representing old traditions and old ways and you really exploring what could be possible and the infinite possibilities that lie in the void and also a message to not try to fill a void here with some kind of like self-sabotaging thing or drug or alcohol or something like that because there's this need to see through the illusion and give yourself plenty of time to heal from this so doing something maybe in a non-traditional sense but it's bringing in this Ten of Pentacles energy. And then I have 15. Normally this is associated with um, the devil. But I'm, I'm kind of wondering if maybe this is about finding out who you really are. And knowing that you're really strong. Brave. Can get through most things. Even harsh opinion can get through that too. Possibly changing your commitments up, but getting out of your head about something that it feels like it was more conditioned for you to go towards, meaning you may have pulled something, pulled towards something that wasn't good for you in the past, and that might have just been like programming, something that you're just karmically doing, and that might be the releasing of that and letting yourself free from any kind of label or whatever you've been told that you are or whoever you've been told that you are. All right, there's the Nine of Pentacles too there on the bottom. That's a really good card. You've got the Nine of Pentacles, financial windfall, gain, possibly a win like a court thing. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the change card. <laughs> you also have the Wheel of Fortune card. Wow. Wow, and then you're going to be able to overcome some kind of thing you are split on because you're finding self-mastery. This is the best card in this deck to get. All right, so that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Scorpio, I hope you got something out of it. Let's pull a few oracle for you.
Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. That's what this one is. Five heavenly helpers, your spiritual team is guiding you through a difficult situation or this difficult situation. I have old soul 21. You have lived many lifetimes and gained wisdom beyond your years. I do believe that. 18 past life connections. Um, you're currently healing these past life wounds, and maybe even further than that, maybe. Okay, 56 is mirror. Everything that is happening in your external life is a reflection of your inner world. And I have 15 core values. Follow your heart and make your values a priority. Okay, and let me get... entrepreneur deck. I got that from uh, Etsy. Simplify. Stop wasting time on busy work that doesn't move a business forward. Complete tasks that bring in money first. Of course, you, you're the one that knows how you can simplify your um, life, your schedule. Collaborate with others can be good says find lucrative ways here to collaborate with others help you both build your brands good idea direct so it's where you direct your customers to this could be with the like if you're collaborating with an affiliate or something you could direct people towards um like a, a funnel a sales funnel or direct people towards offers your own offers or affiliate offers schedule make that a prior uh blah. make that a priority for you to schedule value that um social media and marketing schedule it on a content calendar i guess so we keep up with stuff diversify Okay, be, yeah, build the know, like, trust factor with your audience. Be ubiquitous in your niche by sharing your content on diverse platforms. If that's your thing. Finance, make a monthly budget for your business and personal income and expenses. And always be clear about and specific about your finances. And then I have prioritize, focus, narrow your focus. And it might be kind of hard to focus. That might be why it was come out, you know, in the reverse. So it says, prioritize your most important business task first and get them done first. And those would be the money making tasks. Okay, Moonology. First quarter moon in Gemini, speak your world into being. And new moon in Sagittarius, focus on the positive. Uh, new moon in Scorpio, go deeper. And last quarter moon in Capricorn, leave the past behind. Leave the past behind. And that is what I got for you, Scorpios. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Sending you lots of love and light. You are always appreciated here. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Bye, guys.